So let's take a look at how to use Lagoon Cloud. Our goal today is going to be to start from scratch and deploy an example application using Lagoon, then show how changes get deployed. We need to start with an application that we want to deploy, and the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and fork one of the examples from the Lagoon examples repo. But obviously, you'll be creating your own application eventually. In this case, we're going to fork the WordPress example, but we're going to keep the repo name a little more generic because it's going to be linked to Lagoon Cloud, and we want to keep our options open for later. Now that we've got our repo set up, we can go ahead and get our account set up as well. We want to send the following information to Amazie Support. The name of our project the git repo URL of the repo we just created, which we can get from the GitHub interface. Lagoon interfaces with the GitHub API to make all of this work, and of course you don't want just any GitHub repo to be able to deploy to your application. Which branches we want deployed. Usually it's something like main, develop, and staging, but it's pretty arbitrary. Just let them know what you need. Whether to enable pull requests. If you say yes on this, you can propagate changes by accepting those pull requests. Otherwise, you can just merge into the appropriate branch. Once this is done, we just need to wait for support to get back to us with our public key. They're pretty quick, and what we wind up with is a public key we can use to give Lagoon read access to our repo so we can pick up the changes we're going to make. Okay, so now we're ready to set up access to GitHub. We'll start by setting up access to GitHub for ourselves. You may have done this already, but let's assume that we haven't. We'll start by creating a key for ourselves, if we don't have one. On the machine from which we'll be working, we create the key files with the ssh-keygen command. Next, we'll start the ssh agent and add our private key to that agent. Now we need to add it to GitHub, so we'll get our public key and copy it to the clipboard. Now we need to go back to GitHub and click the avatar in the upper right hand corner and choose settings, SSH GPG keys, add new key, and then paste the key into the form and name it something we'll remember, and then submit the form. Next we need to set up access to GitHub for Lagoon. So just like we did for our own public key, we'll take the public key Amazy Support sent us and add that to GitHub. Now we need to configure our webhooks. We'll start by going in the target repository and choosing settings, webhooks, and webhook. We'll set the payload URL to https colon slash slash hooks dot lagoon dot dot cloud and the content type to application slash JSON. Choose let me select individual events and select pull requests and pushes and make sure to check active then click add webhook. Now we're ready to do an actual deployment. We'll start by configuring our git client and cloning the project. Now we'll log into the dashboard by going to https colon slash slash dashboard .cloud and choose our project. As you can see, we don't have any existing deployments. Now we'll test the deployment with a simple commit.
Now, when there were no environments, now there is one. Now, let's take a look at that deployment. Click Main. After a few seconds, when the routes are created, we'll see the Nginx link pop up when we refresh, and we can click it to see the WordPress site. Great, so we have a deployment. Now let's look at making changes. Let's go ahead and uncomment PHP info in web slash index.php, the site's homepage. And then commit the changes and push to the repo. Now we click deployments and we can see that there is a second deployment. We click overview and then go back to Nginx and we can see the change. As you can see, all we did was commit the change and it was automatically deployed. Doesn't get easier than that. Of course, this is just the bare minimum of what Lagoon can do. If you'd like more information, please go ahead and join us at the URL on your screen.